Google unveiling a number of AI tools and partnerships at its annual Google Cloud Next event. The series of AI announcements comes as the tech giant continues to battle rivals Microsoft and Amazon in the cloud space. Here with the details, we've got Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Uh, Dan, how does this stack up against some of Google's competitors? Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a, a continuing uh, part of this fierce battle we're seeing between Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. Let's go over some of the things that they announced today. There was their Vertex AI announcement, their Duet AI announcement, and then some AI uh, optimized infrastructure. So uh, let's talk about Duet AI. They came out with pricing for this. This is basically uh, the competitor to Microsoft's 365 uh, Copilot, which is basically uh, an AI assistant for its various 365 uh, processing uh, business and enterprise services. So uh, when we look at uh, Duet AI, the price is going to be $30 per month per user uh, for workspace. There's Duet AI workspace and Duet AI uh, for Google Cloud. Now the workspace version, uh, that's basically what you would do if you know, you're typing uh, up a document or going in Gmail or using uh, some PowerPoint or uh, a spreadsheet. Uh, this is going to be uh, where you'll usually probably work if you're a, a normal worker. We, I know we use Workspace uh, here at Yahoo Finance. And so the features here are actually pretty interesting. It will allow uh, the AI to attend a meeting for you. So instead of having you sit in meetings, you, should, you can just type in attend meeting and then do it AI We'll sit in the meeting for you. Um, it's not going to be like a robot or anything. It's just going to, you know, have a blank space, and then it'll be able to provide you with highlights from the meeting later on. So, look, if you have a grueling schedule or you just hate meetings, this is probably a good way to avoid that while still getting all the information you need. Uh, they also will automatically translate captions into a number of languages. So, uh, if you're on a, a call with people uh, who speak multiple languages, this would allow you to then be able to communicate with them more easily. Uh, and it's also going to be able to craft summaries uh, from different sources. So whether that's items from Google Drive or Gmail, it'll be able to pull those uh, documents and that data and then summarize it for you in a coherent manner. So this way you don't have to go in you know, Google Drive here and look at this uh, uh, um, uh, Word doc or uh, you know, uh, regular doc or a PowerPoint here or a chart there. It'll be able to do all of that for you easily. Uh, then we also have uh, some of the stuff from Google Cloud is uh, it'll help with, uh, Duet AI will help with programming, uh, you know, basically for developers uh, and then they're also going to be providing uh, a custom Google chip for Google Cloud, as well as NVIDIA's H100 chip. And that's for people, uh, companies that are looking for a cloud vendor for AI processes. So a huge number of announcements today. Uh, that $30 per user per month though, that's probably the, the headline number there. It helped to drive uh, Microsoft stock higher when they announced similar pricing for their AI offering. So some excitement there, but Dan, it certainly is a busy day for tech. We also got some news out from Apple on its next product event. What can we expect there? Yeah, September 12th, that's when Apple's going to be having its next event, and they don't say exactly what it is. But if it's in September and it's from Apple, it's probably from the new iPhone. So you can expect the iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro lines to be announced there, uh, as well as the next Apple Watch. That's the Series 9, perhaps even an Apple Watch Ultra uh, second generation product. The big thing with the, the 15 and 15 Pro lines is we're going to kiss the lightning cable goodbye. Uh, according to Bloomberg's Mark uh, Gurman, we're going to be getting USB-C across the board. And that's part of an EU mandate saying that all electronics manufacturers that can use USB-C should. Part of that is uh, because they want to crack down on the number of cables that people have floating around and just reduced waste overall. So uh, it'll be a benefit for users because look, your MacBook probably already has a USB-C, your Windows laptop certainly has USB-C, and it'll be uh, everything will be able to charge and work easy with each other. Uh, they're also going to increase the screen size on the Pros by using a new type of display technology. The regular 15s will get a dynamic island, upgraded processors across the board. Uh, and as for those watches, the Apple watch will now get a new chip as well for better performance overall. Okay, Dan booking that flight to Cupertino, September 12th. We marked it on our calendars. Thanks so much for that.